Today, we find out why Makoto Nijima is waifu material. Welcome to the Waifu Hunter series, where we help you pick your ideal digital girl. Codename Queen in the Persona world, she's one of the many confidence that you can seduce. I mean, build a relationship with the class president, teacher's pet, and arguably best girl for a majority of Persona 5 players, for now. And remember guys, NO FIGHTING! Now let me go over my 10 reasons why Makoto Nijima is waifu material. If it's okay with you... Starting off at number 10, Nuclear. I'm talking about her element specialization. Usually each character that isn't the pro tag just specializes in one element and is weak to another. The nuclear element type is a newcomer to the Persona series, which has a unique sound and the name's just plain badass. After all, nuclear power is one of the most destructive forces man has ever wielded. A tool capable, should I say, mass destruction. <laughs> or beneficial when handled properly. I see. Makono is an ambitious gal. Seeing that her father passed away in the line of police duty, she and her sister were forced to live on their own. This placed a lot of pressure on them, especially on the breadwinner, Sai-san, who one time lashed out and called Makoto useless. Makono often feeling inferior, she's always studying hard to get into a good college as she is striving to be a police commissioner just like her late father. She excels in her studies and as we have already mentioned, is the class president. Makoto has an insane amount of determination that allows her to meet her objectives no matter what. Although sometimes it lands her into trouble, such as when she chased a little too hard and found herself captured by the mobsters, where we had to bail her out, getting everybody into some serious trouble. I'm very sorry. As we go through this story, we learn that Makoto really loves to be on top of Johanna. That's her persona's name. A persona? No, dude. It's a bike! Makoto's phantom thief getup has this awesome biker chick feel to it. In Ryuji's words, Sup, Miss Post Apocalyptic Raider. Do you want to get smacked? It's definitely a good symbol of her rebellious side. We learn in the story that she isn't afraid to overstep boundaries when necessary. One example was when she just straight up slapped her friend who was blind to the fact that she was just being used. Her costume consists of a navy blue bodysuit with a single black scarf tailing behind her. Covering her upper torso is a spiky corset and spiky shoulder pads. Lastly, compared to the others, her her mask is more of a plain design, consisting of a silver metal build held together by rivets. After joining the so-called criminal she's been chasing, one could say that the mask is a symbol of her irony. So irritating! At number 7, Responsible. Aside from the Persona 5 protagonist, let's just call him Joker. I kind of view Makoto as the secondary leader of the group. Makoto has definitely shown some mother-like qualities and has a tendency to take responsibility, such as covering up for the group and nudging them when necessary. I'm not thirsty though. Speaking of thirst, and now they're alone together. Well played, Makoto. As mentioned, Makoto can be quite motherly as we see her teaching Fudaba about maintaining a healthy lifestyle. We also learn about how Makoto can cook, a definite plus for a waifu. Is that a compliment? I'm not sure how I feel about being seen as a mother already. In the anime, while she was tailing Joker, her instincts kicked in to help up a poor old lady that had fallen, letting Joker slip away. Among the group, it seems she's the only one who knows how to drive, because she's always in the driver's seat, whether they're driving through the hot desert, around the city, or as their getaway driver while escaping the palace. You know, it's great that you're so responsible and all, but those types tend to reel in hopeless guys. If you take such good care of them, they'll end up totally dependent on you. Better watch it! Why gotta do this, Futaba? Okay, this one's a bit of a bias for me. I really like her English voice actor, who's very youthful and energetic, and kinda pretty too, just like Makoto. None other than the amazing Shirami Lee. Yeah! I mainly know her from voicing Plutia and Iris Heart from the Neptunia series and Lucy from the Fairy Tale series. I think Makoto's voice is more or less Rami using her natural voice, a voice that often has a soothing, gentle nature to it, most of the time. Some may not agree with me, but I think she's absolutely gorgeous. Makoto has beautiful facial features that just work for me. Fair skin and adorably tiny nose and mouth, giving room for her blushing cheeks to show up. What? Did you really just say that? She has a nice pair of, uh, uh, pair of eyes that just so happen to be red, because anime. Her hair is a functional bob cut, which I think suits her personality well, with simple bangs cut straight in the front, and the back is trimmed to her neck, then flares outwards, giving that stylish spikiness. Looking cool, Makoto. Although a bit hard to see, she usually has a hairband made to look like a French braid. I always thought this was part of her hair, but apparently it's just a headband, which makes sense since you would need really long hair to do something like that. Her older sister is pretty easy on the eyes too, but that's a whole nother video. 
Thank goodness. Despite her feminine features and mannerisms, Makoto isn't afraid to get down and dirty with her fists. As a brawler, you know she packs quite a punch, seeing that she uses a fist-based weapon. Oh, let's rock! Fist of the <laughs> Phantom Star! That's not my oh, name. Sorry, go for it! <laughs> This is quite fun. Like everyone else in the group, she has a gun in the form of an old school revolver. I see you've got yourself a single action army. Yes. Someone even mentioned that her stats and ultimate weapons are kinda OP. Just to name a few, she can take some hits, she hits hard, and is the only other character to learn the crucial healing spell, Midia Rahan. It's almost as if they wanted to ensure we place Makoto in our party. Makoto has also mentioned that she practices Aikido. This is mainly a defensive oriented martial art, so at least you know she can protect herself. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry, sis! Hooray! Wait, are you two dating? At one point in the game, you may have noticed Makoto in the background. I'm talking about the nerd with the magazine. The magazine that's upside down. Real sneaky Makoto. She's a real risk taker sometimes. For the Phantom Thieves, she took a risk to steal data off Sai-san's laptop. Makoto is also clever and becomes tough when she wants something. After all, she single-handedly determined who the Phantom Thieves were. This was through her own deduction, and she even used sneaky interrogation tactics to confirm her information. You'll tell me, won't you? That's the same as admitting to it, you know. She then used that as leverage to make the Phantom Thieves change someone's heart. All thanks to best boy Ryuji's big mouth. Usual spot to hold our Phantom Thieves meeting. That idiot! For real? Number two, bashful. Whenever she receives a compliment, Makoto tends to blush very often. How about it? You game for someone like Saya-san? Just look yeah. at that face. You're a natural at this stuff, Makoto. You'll definitely be a top tier wife someday. Wife? Let's not jump to conclusions here. Why not? We've all been thinking it. It's really cute the way she tries to recover whenever she gets flustered and caught off guard. In the latter parts of the confidant interactions, Makoto admits that she's very inexperienced and her friend thinks she would flunk a test in love. You raise a good point. Well, to put it simply, she's kind of a dork, but she's our dork. On top of her always being at the top of the class and alone in the library, Makoto often tries to add her own logic into social situations. Like when talking about the subject of relationships, she tends to refer to it as studies. So adorkable. Makoto usually maintains a well-composed stance, but when we agree to watch a movie with her, she makes up excuses as to why she's early. During the action-packed Yakuza movie, her fists were clenched the entire time. It's adorable how she really gets into it. After the movie, she tries to fish out whether we would find it weird for a girl like her to be into that stuff. Of course not. Remember when we mentioned Aikido? She implements some of these Aikido moves into her dancing style on Persona 5 Starlight. At first I thought it was kinda cringy, but I don't know. I just can't accept her for the dork she is. Oh my god, that winked. If you liked the video, leave a comment on your favorite trait of Makoto. And if I missed anything, what do you think should be number 11? And that's it.